Hi gear shifters. It is really cold in my garage, but my friend Wade is here and we are replacing the heat shield. So these pieces right here that are chrome with new ones that have been powder coated black. So super excited, stick around. I'm going to have to remove these, I guess they're bolts. Uh, they're called worm drive clamps is what these are. Okay. So I'm gonna have to remove those. I've got one here. I've got one here. And I've got one here. It feels like that one feels a little different. But um, it's gonna be interesting. We're just gonna go in there and start unscrewing them. And here are the replacement parts. They have been powder coated black. Warm dry clamps are gonna go through there and link it and just hold it to it. So it should be easy. So I'm super excited. I am. Um, wait to see how it looks. So, I'm ready. Just open it and then they, so that, just, that pulls out. Yeah, and you can actually just leave it in there until okay. we get the heat shields completely off. Okay. And then so. we'll take them out of, and then we'll take those clamps out of the, out of the heat shields. Awesome. You face okay. the, the bolt head up and some of them, they face it down. That's just for ease of access. Yes. You know what's easy to access on this motorcycle? Adventure. <laughs> yeah, the roads are easy. This wrenching is, is not easy. Yeah, so if that little piece is out, that means it's disconnected. Mm -hmm. So I've got that one, okay. There's one here. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> Let it go. Uh, thank you. He saw the ball on top it's and he ball. thought it was a play a a ball game. to play with. Funny. That's my hat. Nope. I had to turn my hat wrong side out because there's a ball on top of it and it looked like a toy. Don't For I? this guy. Should have just turned it around like that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have that satisfying sound though. We call those the mechanic fidget spinners be able to access one of them, we are gonna have to take off this cover. Okay, it's for my leg. Rubs up against it. Wear mark. So that's the air filter. This is just a rubber gasket, which this doesn't look like it's really gonna be in the way. Socket. Okay, it's not going really to. We have to take off the whole housing the way it is, or there is another option. We have four hands. <laughs> yeah, I still won't be able to get the ratchet in there at this point. Once we get to there, it's completely loose. But there won't be enough room to go on the underside because of the timing cut. Gotcha. But when we put it on, we can angle it up a little bit more, so that way we don't have to worry about doing this. Put this back in. And we'll leave the cover off, just to leave us that much room, but we can put the filter back. All right. One more to go. There's the last one. Awesome. Do you think the best way to approach it is going ahead and attaching them to here and then wrapping them around? Yeah, because oh. if you try to put those on there and then try to run those through, you'll never get them through. All right, that's not hard. Got that. Woohoo! That was easy. Okay. This one, these three, this is the bigger piece. It's gonna go like that. Yes. So we want, and the big one goes here. Yes. And I wanna say a big thank you to Paul and Melody for helping me get these amazing parts. I am very grateful and very excited. To go this way, right? Yes. All right. And we've got this one, which. That's your front pipe. That way. 
Yep. Each one of the, the two head pipes right there, they just had two on each one. On this end. And then the other way on the other one? Yes. Yeah. Starting to get the hang of it on the last one. <laughs> So do you think that we should start with a smaller one and work our way back? Whichever way we go, it doesn't really matter. You can put the two single head pipes on first, or you can put the muffler cover on first. Either way, the centerpiece goes on last because it actually overlaps both of the front two okay. and the muffler. So this is what the heat shield is going to be covering. I see here where they were and there's nothing else up here. And this one down here was from this midsection right here. So now it's just a matter of covering them with the powder coated shields. So we decided to start in the front, then do the rear exhaust pipe and then do the centerpiece. Attaching them is easy as long as you attach the worm drive clamps to the inside of the heat shields before wrapping them to the exhaust pipe. As you can see, this is not a difficult project to take on yourself. It just takes a little bit of time and some patience. And I am very grateful to my good friend Wade for coming over with Rocket and helping me get these installed. I appreciate you. I love how it turned out. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit the like button, leave a comment. I believe in gear shifting gratitude and I'm here to share it with you.